Hi there. Today we're continuing our spooky medical series leading up to Halloween and we're going to talk about werewolves. Yes, this actually has some basis in reality and there is an extremely, extremely rare condition called hypertrichosis. There have only been about 50 cases ever identified. So, we know that there are some medications that can cause excessive hair growth. Uh, Minoxidil being one of them, which is why it's used for hair growth. Uh, phenytoin or dilantin and cyclosporin, which is used for immune modulation purposes. An explanation is probably long overdue. We're not talking about that. We also know that it can run along with some illnesses like dermatomyositis, porphyria, which you can look back at that video from vampires. Um, we see it sometimes with malnutrition or anorexia and others, but we're not talking about that either. This is strictly when it occurs in nature, very, very rare. So there are two things that happen with hypertrichosis. One is excessive hair growth all over. The other is gingival hyperplasia, meaning overgrowth of the gums, which gives a person a prominent appearance of their teeth. Sometimes teeth will be missing or they may even have a jagged appearance. So you can see how in the past these people may have been identified as different or monsters. When it attacks the nervous system, these people may have seizures, confusion, hallucinations, and other type madness symptoms that they may have been diagnosed with in the past. As we all know, humans tend to not like things that aren't known to us. So in the past, what would have happened is somebody may have had a condition like this and been seen as different, and then the small town stories turn into big legends and you have vampires. So don't be afraid. If you have any of these symptoms, please go get checked out so it can be identified and treated appropriately. Be safe on Halloween. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.